Heavenly Father, we're grateful and thankful for you on this evening. Lord, you are wonderful and you are good. Father God, we're grateful for your mercy and your grace, for your forgiveness. We're thankful, oh Father God, for your sacrifice. And because of your mercy, because of your grace, your forgiveness, your sacrifice, Lord, this solidifies that you are God of all gods. And this is the reason why there's none other than you, like you, Lord. And so, Father God, we come to you this evening as a family, oh God, once again in the word. We're praying, oh Father God, for um, correction as well as conviction. We're praying, oh God, that the word, your Holy Spirit brings revelation, oh God. And we pray that, Lord, not only will we be hearers of the word, but doers of the word, that we will be applying the scripture to our life, oh God, that we will store it on the doors and the windows and on the walls of our heart. Father God, we're praying, oh God, humbly, that you will cleanse us, oh God, of anything that is still maybe remaining within our hearts and in our minds. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, and we thank you for continuously providing for us. We ask, oh God, that your Holy Spirit will continue to guide us, oh God, and we ask that your um, that you will continue to protect us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Leviticus chapter 12. God spoke to Moses, tell the people of Israel, a woman who conceives and gives birth to a boy is ritually unclean for seven days, the same as during her menstruation. On the eighth day, circumcise the boy. The mother must stay home another 33 days for purification from her bleeding. She may not touch anything holy or enter the sanctuary until the days of her purification are complete. If she gives birth to a girl, she is unclean for 14 days, the same as during her menstruation. She must stay home for 66 days for purification from her bleeding. When the days of her purification for either a boy or a girl are complete, she will bring a yearling, a yearling lamb for a whole burnt offering and a pigeon or dove for an absolution offering to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting. He will offer it to God and make atonement for her. She is then clean from her flow of blood. These are the instructions for a woman who gives birth to either a boy or a girl. If she can't afford a lamb, she can bring two doves or two pigeons, one for the whole burnt offering and one for the absolution offering. The priest will make atonement for her and she will be clean. Leviticus chapter 13. God spoke to Moses and Aaron. When someone has a swelling or a blister or a shining spot on the skin that might signal a serious skin disease on the body. Bring him to Aaron the priest or to one of his priests or to one of his priest's sons. The priest will examine the sore on the skin. If the hair in the sore has turned white and the sore appears more than skin deep, it is a serious skin disease and infectious. After the priest has examined it, he will pronounce the person unclean. If the shiny spot on the skin is white but appears to be only on the surface and the hair has not turned white, the priest will quarantine the person for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest will examine it again. If, in his judgment, the sore is the same and has not spread, the priest will keep him in quarantine for another seven days. On the seventh day, the priest will examine him a second time. If the sore has faded and hasn't spread, the priest will declare him clean. It is a harmless rash. The person can go home and wash his clothes. He is clean. But if the sore spreads after he has shown himself to the priest and been declared clean, he must come back again to the priest who will conduct another examination. If the sore has spread, the priest will pronounce him unclean. It is a serious skin disease and infectious. Whenever someone has a serious and infectious skin disease, you must bring him to the priest. The priest will examine him. If there is a white swelling in the skin, the hair is turning white, and there is an open sore in the swelling, it is a chronic skin disease. The priest will pronounce him unclean, but he doesn't need to quarantine him because he's already given his diagnosis of unclean. If a serious disease breaks out that covers all the skin from head to foot, whether the priest looks, the priest will make a thorough examination. If the disease covers his entire body, he will pronounce the person with the sore clean. 
Since it has turned all white, he is clean. But if they are open, running sores, he is unclean. The priest will examine the open sores and pronounce him unclean. The open sores are unclean. They are evidence of a serious skin disease. But if the open sores dry up and turn white, he is to come back to the priest who will re-examine him. If the sores have turned white, the priest will pronounce the person with the sores clean, he is clean. When a person has a boil and it heals, and in place of the boil, there is a white swelling or reddish white shiny spot, the person must present himself to the priest for an examination. If it looks like it has penetrated the skin and the hair in it has turned white, the priest will pronounce him unclean. It is a serious skin disease that has broken out in the boil. But if the examination shows that there is no white hair in it and it is only skin deep and has faded, the priest will put him in quarantine for seven days. If it then spreads over the skin, the priest will diagnose him as unclean. It is infectious. But if the shiny spot has not changed and hasn't spread, it's only a scar from the boil. The priest will pronounce him clean. When a person has a burn on his skin and the raw flesh turns into a reddish white or white shiny spot, the priest is to examine it. If the hair has turned white in the shiny spot and it looks like it's more than skin deep, a serious skin disease has erupted in the area of the burn. The priest will pronounce him unclean. It is a serious skin disease and infectious. But if on ex examination there is no white hair in the shiny spot and it doesn't look to be more than skin deep but has faded, the priest will put him in quarantine for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest will re-examine him. If by then it has spread over the skin, the priest will diagnose him as unclean. It is a serious skin disease and infectious. If by that time the shiny spot has stayed the same and has not spread but has faded, it is only a swelling from the burn. The priest will pronounce him clean. It's only a scar from the burn. If a man or woman develops a sore on the head or chin, the priest will offer a diagnosis. If it looks as if, as if, as if it is under the skin and the hair in it is yellow and thin, he will pronounce the person ritually unclean. It is an itch, an infectious skin disease. But if when he examines the itch, he finds it only skin deep and there is no black hair in it, he will put the person in quarantine for seven days. On that seventh day, he will re-examine the sore. If the itch has not spread, there is no yellow hair in it, and it looks as if the itch is only skin deep, the person must shave, except for the itch. The priest will send him back to quarantine for another seven days. If the itch has not spread and it looks to be only skin deep, the priest will pronounce him clean. The person can go home and wash his clothes. He is clean. But if the itch spreads after being pronounced clean, the priest must re-examine it. If the itch has spread in the skin, he doesn't have to look any further, any farther. For yellow hair, for instance, he is unclean. But if he sees that the itch is unchanged and black hair has begun to grow in it, the itch is healed. The person is clean and the priest will pronounce him clean. When a man or woman gets shiny or white shiny spots on the skin, the priest is to make an examination. If the shiny spots are dull, white, it is only a rash that has broken out. The person is clean. When a man loses his hair and goes bald, he is clean. If he loses his hair from his forehead, he is bald and he is clean. But if, if he has a reddish white sore on scalp or forehead, it means a serious skin disease is breaking out. The priest is to examine it. If the swollen sore on his scalp or forehead is reddish white, like the appearance of the sore of a serious skin disease, he has a serious skin disease and is unclean. The priest has to pronounce him unclean because of the sore on his forehead. Any person with a serious skin disease must wear torn clothes leave his hair loose and unbrush, cover his upper lip and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as anyone has the sores, that one continues to be ritually unclean. That person must live alone. He or she must live outside the camp. If clothing, woolen or linen clothing, woven or knitted cloth of linen or wool, 
leather or leatherwork is infected with a patch of serious fungus, and if the spot in the clothing or the leather or the woven or the knitted material or anything made of leather is greenish or rusty, that is a sign of serious fungus. Show it to the priests. The priest will examine the spot and then confiscate the material for seven days. On the seventh day, he will re-examine the spot. If it has spread in the garment, the woven or knitted or leather material, it is the spot of a persistent serious fungus and the material is unclean. He must burn the garment. Because of the persistent and contaminating fungus, the material must be burnt. But if when the priest examines it, the spot has not spread in the garment, the priest will command the owner to wash the material that has the spot and he will confiscate it for another seven days. He'll then make another examination after it has been washed. If the spot hasn't changed in appearance, even though it, has been, even though it hasn't spread, it is still unclean. Burn it up. Whether the fungus has affected the back or the front, if, when the priest makes his examination, the spot has faded after it has been washed, he is to tear the spot from the garment, but if it reappears, it is a fresh outbreak. Throw whatever has the spot in the fire. If the garment is washed and the spot has gone away, then wash it a second time, it is clean. These are the instructions regarding a spot of serous fungus in clothing of wool or linen, woven or knitted material, or any article of leather for pronouncing them clean or unclean. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning and bringing us to the Bible study. I pray that you touch each and every one of us and help us get through our journey of life, Lord. I pray that you help us to make the right decisions, and I pray that you help us to um, do the right thing, and I pray that you help all parents to um, follow your commands and help their children to get through life and to complete all their goals in life. Amen. Amen. Amen.